Good morning. Happy Monday at New Hampshire Gifts. I just got to work. I think I was getting low on $1 bills in the cash register, so I grabbed a bunch from home. So just going to make change with myself. I worked yesterday and it was pretty busy. And I am down to one piece of tissue paper. I sold a lot of like breakable glasses, candles, like fragile things yesterday. So I did a lot of wrapping. Ordered some tissue paper off of Amazon. One day shipping for the win. So I get to replace that. I bought a pack of like 900 pieces of tissue paper, so should be good for a while. This is gonna go down into storage. There are two emails that I wanna get to right away this morning. One, I actually met with a rep from Darn Tough to get Darn Tough socks into my new gear shop. So he stopped by and then emailed me some forms to fill out. And then I also want to email and follow up with this project that I'm working on and just kind of ask him what the next step is because I think the thing I'm designing that I'll talk about soon um, is ready to go into production and I've been working on this for months and months and months so it's getting so close I just want to see what the time frame is and see what the next step will be. I just finished those two emails. It's 10.30 right now. Callie and I are going to go on a quick adventure to the gas station because driving to work, I only had 10 miles left of gas and I don't want to forget to do that on the way home because I know myself. Midweek, especially in the mornings, it's always pretty slow. So Julie, who manages my mom's country store, can easily watch both stores. That's a huge thing that I like about having my store right next to my mom's is we can help each other out. So we can leave the store for 10, 15 minutes, get a quick errand, quick bite to eat, and then come back and everything is good. So that's what we're doing. Come here. <laughs> All right, so I'm here in the new gear shop section of the store. Uh, not much has changed. Honestly, it's kind of hard to buy a lot of expensive hiking equipment and name brand things in my slowest season. So it's a slow work in progress. Like I said, we're getting darn tough in soon. I ordered enough that I can get like a full darn tough display and I think that look really good in here. I have a couple more brands coming in, local brands that are in New Hampshire that will kind of set up their own displays. Um, so that's coming in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, I did reorder Element. Um, I've sold a lot more Element than I thought I would. So I just placed a huge reorder of like the variety packs and a couple of the boxes and the single serve elements. That seems to be the most popular. I feel like sometimes it's hard to buy Element online because you don't want to commit to a whole box if you're not sure if you like the flavor because it is a little pricey. It's a good product. So it's nice when people come in and they can just buy one stick or a few or one of each flavor and they can give it a try. So that's been doing well. The Gooder sunglasses are doing well. I can give you guys an update on Appalachian Trail Days because it's in one month and I did hear back from them. I honestly didn't think... I was gonna hear back from them because I've heard stories of people who have been on the wait list to be a vendor at Trail Days for years. And I'm just a little gift shop in New Hampshire. I didn't think I would get the opportunity, but they emailed and they said that they had a craft vendor spot available. And I committed within like 15 seconds. I emailed them back. I sent in my application, my payment, everything. So I think it's all set. Um, if I if I go, like, I'm basically certain that I'll go at this point. I leave in exactly one month. So I need to stock up on inventory. I've never been to Trail Days, but I'm assuming it's going to be really busy. I've got to figure out what I'm bringing. My New Hampshire shirts, Appalachian Trail shirts, books, souvenirs. Like, I don't know. 
what do you guys think I could bring to trail days? <laughs> um, I think because a family friend of mine does a lot of the screen printing and embroidery, um, I'm gonna shoot him a message today and see if he can make some New Hampshire shirts on like that dry fit hiking material because I used to carry stuff like that and I'm basically sold out. So I could bring some New Hampshire hiking shirts. I did just get in the dry fit New Hampshire hats, which I think would be really good for hiking. I could bring all those. Um, yeah, I'm just looking around. I could probably bring the gooders, the element, um, all the AT books that I sell. I don't know. I have Appalachian Trail puzzles and maps and hats. So I'm getting excited. Um, my mom's probably gonna come with me. We'll take down. Sorry, customers were walking in while I was filming that. I just had three very busy back-to-back -back sales. I do this program where people can bring in their used puzzles and get credit towards new ones. So someone brought in four used puzzles, bought two, and then I had a customer do an exchange, and then I had a mom and her toddler buy some stickers and magnets. So got a little crazy there for a second. We're going on another errand. <laughs> I just found a tick buried inside of Callie's neck, so Petco's a mile away. We're gonna get one of those flea and tick collars. Three twenty-five. I feel like the day's going by so slow, and I'm extra tired. I just finished my second diet coke, um, just for like the little caffeine boost. But yeah, just hanging out and I'll edit this video right now and get it up for you guys. Let me know what you think about trail days, what you think I should bring, if you have any questions. I'm sure I'll bring you along this whole journey for the whole next month while I prepare to head down to Damascus. So stay tuned for that. Bye.